For thousands of years, our ancestors relied on popular lore to predict the weather. Some of these are still being used today. Good morning, Heartland meteorologist Brian Dugues separates fact from fiction with his top five weather myths countdown. While living in the Heartland, we all know how wacky the weather can be from day to day. And while we have advanced meteorological systems to help predict the weather, that was not always the case. There are many old wise tales and even some new ones that are still being put to use. And while some of them do accurately predict the weather, some of them just don't make sense. Starting our weather myth countdown, we come to number five. Ring around the moon, rain real soon. While the saying rhymes, does it really mean we'll see rough times? The halo that appears around the moon is actually a thin layer of cirrus clouds made up of ice crystals reflecting off the moon's light. These thin cirrus clouds are the first to move in with an approaching storm system. Precipitation does not always follow, but there is a higher chance of it after a halo is seen. And the brighter the circle, the greater the possibility. So it turns out our first myth is fact. Moving on to number four, we've reached thunderstorms. Low pressure associated with tornadoes causes buildings to explode. Does opening your windows before a tornado really equalize the pressure, thus saving your house? This is a common practice that many people still believe is true. Opening the windows in an attempt to equalize pressure will have no effect. It is the violent winds and debris that cause most structural damage. It is most important for you to move to a safe area away from windows and exterior walls. So don't waste your time opening windows because this myth is busted. Moving on to number three, a myth that has been seen in far too many movies, driving your car under an overpass during a tornado will help keep you safe. Unfortunately, this could not be further from the truth. Overpasses can concentrate the tornado winds, causing them to be significantly stronger. This places the people under them in an even more dangerous situation. In recent years, several people seeking shelter under overpasses have been killed or severely injured. Being above ground during a tornado is always dangerous, making this myth busted. Now we have number two. We've all heard the saying, red sky at night, sailors to light, but does it really have any truth? Commonly used by boating enthusiasts and fishermen, this saying has been around since the start of time and was even referenced by Shakespeare. A red sky in the morning implies the rising sun in the east is shining on clouds to the west, indicating a potential storm system, whereas a red sky at night suggests the setting sun is shining on clouds to the east and conditions to the west are clear because the sun can be seen setting. Therefore, this myth is a fact. And reaching number one on the weather mist countdown, you hear it all the time, my body aches, the weather must be changing. Does this really mean anything? Some people swear they can predict rain based on their aches and pains. This could be due to a fall in barometric pressure, which could cause blood vessels to dilate slightly. This in turn could affect anything from bones and joints to muscles and sinuses. Some doctors are skeptical and there really isn't any hard evidence either way. So next time someone blames their knee aches on the weather, they could be telling the truth or they could be lying making this myth plausible. This brings us to the end of the weather myth countdown. Now you know what is scientific and what is fiction, so next time you're outside, you'll know the truth, and it might just keep you safe. I'm meteorologist Brian Dugues, KTVO News.